know, and you're never going to guess, right? I've been on my own, I've been moaning because I'm all by myself. And guess who's come and swanned into Pride Radio? Well, I had the missed calls, so I thought, why not just come in instead? Did you think it was like an emergency, something had gone wrong? No, well, it's better face-to-face, isn't it? It is. I don't like talking on the phone anyways. Well, so. see, well, you would have heard what I was saying earlier on. Like, I've been freaked out, realising it is ten years since you won X Factor. How do you feel? Does it feel like ten years ago? I feel very old. I feel old when we look at the videos of us. Yeah. I t- <laughs> I, it's, it's strange for me, I think, because... I've been on a treadmill kind of working for so long that it goes really quick and it's not until kind of you reach those kind of milestone things because like my 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 ultimate goal in when I first came off the show people used to say what what do you want to do in 10 years time and I said I still want to be doing it you know I, I still want to be in the industry working and stuff so it's mad to think that I am um but it's great you know it's a celebration and we're, we're doing a 10 year tour um we're doing Newcastle Whitley Bay Billingham Customs House in South Shields we're coming to quite a few places in the North East to celebrate I know I can't wait because I'm, I'm going to be um, interviewing you on one yeah, of them so aren't we're, I so we're, well we're doing the 10 year Impossible Dream Tour um, which is all the way through November but on the 5th of November I think it is or the 6th something like that I think well, um, it's on the website you. anyways <laughs> <laughs> com. I hope you turn up on the right we're day doing, we're doing a special one um, at the Customs House and it's not a concert it's a sit down kind of talk and t- I am going to perform as well um, but we're going to me and you are, well we're, you're going to interview us you're going to grill us I really I'm am. no question. I'm not. I'm not going to like block any question, no, am I? No, not at all. For the first time ever. We're going to give you loads of gin first, <laughs> and so you're going to start like spilling your guts. Well, yeah. I mean, I, it, it's going to be an in-depth interview. So it's going to it's going to be talking about things that I haven't spoke about. You know, the, the behind-the-scenes things that have happened. You know, nothing like salacious or anything like that. But oh no, don't worry. I'll get that out of him as well. Well, no, but like just <laughs> things that people don't know that actually go on behind. You know, we're going to play a lot of footage. And and things and I'm going to explain what was going on in my life at the time and um, what was business wise what was going on at the time and um, you know because I, I, the first three years for me were a massive kind of there was a, a lot of ups and downs but it behind the scenes but I think that's amazing because even like fans who've seen you over the years and seen your shows before they would have never seen anything like this would they this well, is no, you and completely I'm, out there and I've now really uh, when you when you go on obviously like interviews and radio interviews and television stuff to promote things you don't really talk about those kind of things because you just tell them what the album is what it's about what, you know how was it recording it and stuff so we're literally going to kind of peel away the, the, the curtains of the show business a little bit and, and kind of let you know like, like moments that that happened along the way that I've never shared before, you know? Some really, like, exciting things that happened that nobody knew about and all different things. So that's on the 6th of November, I think it is. It's a Sunday. Yeah. I think it is. I think it's the same. Um, and then we're, we're also going back to the Customs House again for two actual concert shows. And then Newcastle Time Theatre, Whitley Bay Playhouse, Billingham Forum, which is... Um, so, yeah, so it's... it's I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the, the calm before the storm. I know, what I've got to say is you've got a lovely tan because you've actually I'm, been... I'm on my holidays. I know, you've finished Club Tropicana and for once, what? You've got, had some time off. I yeah, can't so believe I, it. So I've literally got now until um, the middle of October off, which is very rare for me. And then you're going to keep going straight into Panto again? Yeah, down to Birmingham. Yeah. I'm going to Birmingham, um, which will be fun. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have a bit of time off, actually. I, I, I really needed it. I'd been non-stop since, like, November last year, so I was a little bit broken. Yes. Well, before my holidays. Well, do you know what? I know you're saying you're on your holidays, but now you're here, you're going to stick around for a little bit longer. Yeah. Yes. Right, OK, we've got some Shawn Mendes on the way after this.